Park ranger McKinney Brisky's eyes are always peeled for fossils and ancient animal tracks when she walks through the prehistoric shoreline. It's kind of a, a window into the past. In addition to all the animal tracks they found out here, there's also a lot of plant fossils that have been discovered too, like the impression of this leaf from a wachia tree. There's all various different animals, organisms, um, insects, you know, all sorts of things that have left their tracks here. And from this, scientists have been able to come and kind of study the lives of these creatures, how they interacted with each other. Brisky explains a student at New Mexico State University, Jerry McDonald, first discovered the trackways in 1987. Researchers have since removed more than 2,500 slates of animal tracks, and scientists have discovered more than 150 fossil sites. The animal tracks and plant fossils predate the dinosaur age by 40 million years. Trackways manager Tom Phillips says he aspires to make the area more available to the public for educational use. I hope the monument becomes an asset for the public, a place the public can enjoy and appreciate. Park rangers hope area schools will someday start bringing students to the trackways for field trips. Ranger McKinney Brisky says it would be a great learning opportunity. Hey, they might actually be the ones that in 15 years use the monument to find out what happened at the end of the Permian period because the end of the Permian period was the biggest extinction of life on all of the earth and it's a mystery as to why that happened. Until the students start coming, the trackways sit pretty much empty aside from an occasional visit from scientists. But Brisky is excited about all the future discoveries she believes are in store. For KRWG, I'm Jared Anderson.